Hi, I'm Lisa Doty, Teacher Leadership Manager at the Modern Classrooms Project, and today you'll learn how to navigate the DMCE application and submission process. So let's get started. I'm going to head back over to our website, mentorship.modernclassrooms.org forward slash login. Um, many of you have uh, credentials, but if you don't have your credentials, be sure to check your email after submitting that about you form. You should have received um, a confirmation message that you would be receiving those credentials via email. So be sure to check that email. So I'm going to log in with these test applicant credentials so you can see me walk through the process. I'm going to go ahead and log in and I will have my leadership pathways course right here. If your nav bar is open, your screen may look something like this, but I have mine hidden. Nevertheless, I'm looking for leadership pathways to get started on that application. So once I'm in leadership pathways, here's what I will see. Parts one and two. Part one is where I will actually begin to work on my submission template. In that confirmation uh, message, when you submitted your About You form, we offered a submission planning template that some of you may have begun to curate your artifacts of implementation. That's perfectly fine. You'll simply take that and plug it into these templates. That was a nice place to hold everything, um, but you'll still submit here in this part one, share your work. So I'm going to go ahead and open part one, share your work. And this is where I will select my submission template. Uh, we offer three different types of submission templates. All of them essentially ask the same questions, but in slightly different ways, depending on what your position is like. For example, most educators will fall in this bucket of the individual applicant. This is for anyone who creates content for students, adult learners, such as professional development. So if you're creating content of any kind that learners are using, this is the submission template you would select. If you are a co-teacher, let's say you have a resource teacher in your room and you both co-create content and you um, perhaps share the direct instruction, uh, share the planning, and you wanna submit a co-teacher application, you may do that here. It's similar, the wording's just slightly different for those educators. And then if you are someone who provides support or feedback to an educator and you don't create content of your own, um, we have the Distinguished Modern Classroom Advocate credential. It is the same um, uh, credential in terms of the perks, um, the option of becoming an expert mentor. It's just worded slightly different for those folks who provide feedback. So that is what you would choose in that case. Uh, for this demonstration, I will select the individual applicant and proceed to find my template. So we offer a download version or a Google copy. It's whichever you prefer. Um, when it comes time to submit, it will be submitted as a PDF file. So I already have one ready to go that I have saved. So I'm going to proceed to the next step. I'm ready to submit. I've saved my application as a PDF and I am ready to submit below. So I'm going to move my head out of the way and add this submission. So I will simply click add submission. You may be prompted to leave the site depending on what browser you're in. So I'm going to leave the site, scroll down and I'm going to drag my file. So it depends on um, how your machine is set up, but I'm just going to click and drag to submit that and click save. So now I have officially shared my DMCE application. I am ready to move on. It is submitted for grading. Green means go. I am ready to go. I'm excited to um, submit that. Now, if I decided, oh gosh, I left something out, I need to go back and fix it. You can see here that we allow for those um, edits. If you wanna remove it, let's say I uploaded a grocery list instead of my submission, I can remove it and um, make that change at this time. If for some reason you encounter any difficulties and, and you feel like, oh goodness, I can't move forward, please don't hesitate to email us at credentials at modernclassrooms.org. We are happy to troubleshoot if you are having difficulty in the platform. So I have submitted my application and I'm ready to move on to part two, help us improve. 
The help us improve piece is just a little bit of feedback that you will provide us here at Modern Classrooms so that we know what your application experience was like. And this part is um, also very helpful to us. I'm going to get this out of the way so I can better explain. This is the professional references section. Um, it is a challenge to get into every single classroom and the best way that we know how implementation is going is through your portfolio work as well as through references. So you will provide two professional references from those educators or folks who are familiar with your implementation. So you'll put their first and last name and a good email for them, and then we will take it from there. We will send them a brief survey. They'll um, give us a little bit of information, how they know you and um, what they know about your implementation. So it's a very quick, short questionnaire that they receive, and we will take care of sending that. Um, your application will not be considered complete without these two references, so be sure to get those in because we can't wait to hear about all the great things you are doing in your classroom. And then very last part here, a few questions just asking us, what did you think about the application process? What motivated you to apply? And anything else you would like to share with us? So hopefully this helps you navigate through the DMCE application and upload process. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to email us at credentials at modernclassrooms.org. Thank you so much for applying. We can't wait to see your work.